The latest in Chinese artificial intelligence, or AI, is on display here in Tianjin. From transport and robotics to data collection and cloud computing, it's the kind of progress that has the current technology frontrunner, the U.S., worried. When it comes to big data, cloud computing and AI, China still lags behind the U.S. But in certain areas, China is already the world leader. Telecommunications giant Huawei has been hit by three rounds of U.S. sanctions. Company earnings have fallen for the second year in a row. Beijing says the U.S. feels threatened by Chinese progress. Washington says Huawei poses a national security threat. More than 100 Chinese entities have been placed on a U.S. trade blacklist. But the restrictions have not stopped China's development from accelerating. The government has invested billions of dollars in research and development in an effort to wean itself off critical U.S. chip technology. And the speed of China's AI progress is raising concerns, especially when it comes to potential military applications. China is also developing um, AI um, in the military area in order to leapfrog over the U.S., which has a lot more capacity in terms of military might. China's use of AI to launch cyber attacks and increase surveillance is also being closely watched. Several governments say AI is being used to perpetuate human rights abuses and even genocide against Uyghurs in Xinjiang. The U.S. Senate is debating legislation aimed at ensuring it stays ahead of China. The Endless Frontier Act could see $100 billion invested over the next five years into AI and related industries. Chinese officials have criticized the bill. The bill distorts the facts and plays up the China threat theory. It is fraught with outdated Cold War mentality and zero-sum thinking. Beijing says its technology will only be used for peaceful means. It's aiming to become the global leader in AI by 2030. At this forum, most of the AI technology on display is about addressing everyday problems. How can we improve healthcare? Or how can we make labor-intensive industries less labor-intensive? Or how can we make roads safer, for example, with the use of driverless technology? Regardless of which country wins the race for tech supremacy, analysts say international rules governing the use of AI are needed for the protection and safety of all. Katrina Yu, Al Jazeera, Tianjin, China.